For this crochet project, you're going to need your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a tapestry needle or darning needle, and a pair of scissors, and you're going to need a 21 millimeter safety doll eye. I use the ones with the plastic or metal backings, so again, a 21 millimeter safety doll eye. The yarn that I chose is Red Heart with Love Premium, 7 ounce, 198 grams, or 370 yards. The color is tan. This is a medium 4 style of yarn. I would recommend these Dritz upholstery needles to help you attach the legs. And I usually use a 10 inch or a 12 inch. You're also going to need a skein of a medium 4 style yarn that's black colored for the nose and the mouth. And you're also going to need a white colored yarn. I use Karen Simply Soft white colored yarn. And this is just for the inner portion of the ear. This is how much yarn I have left over after of the second skein. So you only need two skeins of yarn for this project. So two skeins of the Red Heart with Love Premium and there's seven ounces 198 grams or 370 yards in one skein. For the kangaroo pouch I used my six millimeter crochet hook. Now this is optional. You could use your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You just need to make a larger chain for the pouch. I decided that I wanted to use my six millimeter crochet hook so that's optional. So you can see how fun and adorable these look. These are the larger kangaroos. The one on the right is slightly larger, and that's a warm brown color if you like that one. And then I have the one on the left, which is the tan color, slightly smaller, because it's a different color yarn. They're both Red Heart, so I'm surprised that one turned out a little slightly smaller, barely noticeable. Also, the one with the tan had more yarn in it. I only needed two skeins to complete the tan colored one, and I needed more skeins approximately three to four for the larger kangaroo with the warm brown color by Red Heart. I did the arms slightly different between the two so the warm brown one I actually just sewed the arms so they're not movable and then the movable ones on the one that I show on video tutorial the arms are movable and then they both have movable legs and then I covered with the dimple cover it looks really nice and the legs move. So we're going to start with the head and we're going to be working on the snout first. The snout is going to be the um, attached to the head so we're just going to do one continuous snout that works into the head. So you're just going to take your tan colored yarn and then we're going to start with a magic circle so drape the yarn across your four fingers use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're just going to take and bring up a loop with the yarn for your slip knot. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. There's one, two, I'm pulling from the middle of my yarn but it let me fix my yarn. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have two single crochet into the magic circle and you need a total of six. There's three. Four. Five. And six. And then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet then you have these two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one is closing. Then take and pull on that loose yarn end. Then you can turn your work so that we're working in rounds. So now you have six total stitches in the round. We're going to work 12 stitches in the round. So you're going to take and go into that first stitch. Make sure you grab both loops. Make two single crochet into the same stitch and we're going to be working two single crochet in every stitch around until we have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So go ahead and make two single crochet in every stitch around 
until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back. So now you should have 12 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and get your, if you need to close the center of the magic circle, just turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end and then that will close up the center of the magic circle. Then take a loose yarn end, place it right where you left off. We're going to continue to increase the number of stitches in the round. So we're going to be increasing to one and three and then two single crochet into the fourth for those that know how. But for the first increased round, you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then just keep repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. So now you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and then for this next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker now you should have a total of 24 stitches in the round and then for our next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker now you should have 30 total stitches in the round go ahead and move your yarn marker up where you left off and then just make one single crochet in every stitch around for six rounds so six rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around so when you get to the yarn marker you just leave it there to help you keep track of your rounds that you've completed so now after you finish your six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch this is how your work should look and we're going to take and remove the yarn marker and then you're going to need your black yarn now the loop where we left off goes towards the back and then this is the top of the snout and we're going to be embroidering the nose here so go ahead and get your black yarn on your tapestry needle and then come back so now I have my black yarn on the tapestry needle and I have the loop where I left off towards the back and then you're going to come from the wrong side right in the center of the magic circle so right in the center with your tapestry needle and then bring the yarn through make sure that you don't tangle your yarn and you want to leave enough of a loose yarn end for tying a knot then you're going to make your nose and I'm going to go out one two three four rounds at about a 45 degree angle then you're going to go about a 45 degree angle on the other side and then go back into the center of the magic circle then you're going to go right at the tip on the fourth round so here you can see how the fourth round kind of curves around this way we're going to follow that curve around and again you want to make sure you're not tangling your yarn we still haven't tied a knot yet so kind of hold on to that loose yarn end so we can tie a knot when we're finished then you're just going to go right back into the angle right along the curve went through the loose yarn end and 
and then you're going to go on the opposite side. So you're forming kind of like a diamond, a wide diamond, and that's going to be the nose. Go back in the center, the top center, to complete your wide diamond. Then you're just going to take and fill in the center. So just go right in the center at the top center and then just start going down the center with your black yarn until it's completely filled. So you just go in and out. Make sure that your yarn doesn't get tangled where you left off in the back down here. And then you just start filling until it's completely filled the inner portion. So go right inside. You want to stay inside the outline and you want to completely cover the center of this diamond with the black yarn and then come back. So this is what mine looks like after it's completely covered. Then I'm going to make the smile. So you just go right down the center, bottom center of the nose came out. Let me put that back and then I'm going to come down about two rounds down and then go back in the center and then come up to the right to make the smile And then you want the other side of the smile to be the same. You don't want it to have one crooked. And then when you finish the smile, you just tie a knot on the inside and trim the loose yarn ends. So this is what mine looks like when I'm finished. And now you're ready to go back to where you left off. And then we're going to make an increase round. So we're going to be increasing the number of stitches in the round. Go ahead and grab your yarn marker, place it right where you left off. And for this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches. There's one, two, three, four. And then make two single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now you should have 36 total stitches in the round go ahead and move the yarn marker up we're going to make one more increase round so for this increase round you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker now you should have 42 stitches in the round then take and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now we're going to make four more increase rounds. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and for this next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 48 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then for the next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches 
and then two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 54 stitches in the round and then move your yarn marker up and for this next increase round make one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then for your last increase round you're going to make one single crochet into nine stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now the last increase round you should have had 60 stitches. After this increase round you should have 66 stitches. So now this is what my work looks like so far. And you're going to go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. And my stitch count right now is 66. So now after you finish your three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you're ready to place the eyes. Now for my eyes, I counted down from where the top of the head, you count down to the sixth round. So the sixth round is where the eye post is going to be. And then I lined up with the nose, the inner aspect of the eye. So on either side of the nose, you can see how I lined up for the inner portion of the safety doll eye. And in between each safety doll eye, I have eight stitches. So go ahead and position your eyes the way you like them. And then you can go ahead and place your safety latches. Then, after you have your eyes placed, you can go back to where you left off, move the yarn marker up, and then you're going to make five rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So five rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. Oh, I grabbed the yarn wrong. One single crochet in every stitch for five rounds, and then come back. After you finish your five rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and move your yarn marker up. Now we're going to make a decrease round. So we're going to decrease the number of stitches in the round. For the first decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into nine stitches. So one single crochet into nine stitches. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three loops for a decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat that pattern, one single crochet into nine stitches and then single crochet two stitches together Repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 60 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up. And then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch. So one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. For the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into eight stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 54 stitches in the round. Then take and move the yarn marker up and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for one round and then come back. For the next decrease round, go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 48 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. Now you can go ahead and add craft stuffing into the head and you're going to continue to add craft stuffing as you close the head. So for the next decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then for the next decrease round, make one single crochet into five stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. 
And then you guessed it, the next decrease round is one single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around and continuing to stuff as much as, as needed for your head. Then for the next decrease round is one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you want to make sure that you don't overstuff where you have huge gaping holes in your crochet work and you also don't want to understuff so you want it to have just enough stuffing to shape the head and make sure you get stuffing into the snout portion as well. Then for your next decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. Then you're almost closed but for the next decrease round, make one single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you can remove the yarn marker and then you're just going to make single crochet two stitches together. And you're going to keep doing that until you can't make them anymore. So you just single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. I'm going to make one more and then you're just going to slip stitch the whole thing closed. So you're going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, and then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. And you're just going to keep turning and slip stitching until the hole is completely closed. And then once it's closed, you can go ahead and finish off. I'm going to make one more slip stitch. Then I'm going to finish off. Just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And then you see a nice closure for the head. This is how mine looks. So it's not overstuffed and it's not understuffed. Then you take your tapestry needle, put it onto the loose yarn end, go right in where you finished off, and then come out anywhere and then that buries the loose yarn end into your work and then you can trim your loose yarn end. And then you're finished with the head except for the ears so now set the head aside while we make the ears. Now for the ears you're going to start with your tan colored yarn and you're going to drape it across your four fingers. You're going to start with the magic circle. So just take and hold the yarn with your thumb and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take and bring up a loop with the yarn, make your slip knot, and then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So here's your first single crochet, second, And we have our sixth. So six single crochet into the magic circle. Hold the base of the single cro six single crochet with your forefinger and thumb. Then take and close the circle. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one is closing. Don't worry if you don't get it completely closed. You can close it more later. Then take and close the pull on the loose yarn end. And then turn your work so that you're working in rounds. So far you have six stitches in the round. And you're going to make two single, actually you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for only one round. So one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. So that should still leave you with six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you're going to make two single crochet in every stitch around. So you go into the next stitch and make two single crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around until you have 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around until you have 12 stitches in the round and then come back. So now I have 12 stitches in the round and you can turn your work so that the loose yarn end is on the inside and then you can take and pull on that loose yarn end if you need to to close the center of the magic circle. 
Now you're going to take and get a loose yarn end for a yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around, and then come back. So now this is how your work should look, and we're going to make two increase rounds. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off, and for the first increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker, one single crochet in one stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 18 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up for your next increase round, and for this next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 24 total stitches in the round. Then go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now we're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So this is how the work looks so far, and now we're ready for an increase round, so go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off, and for this increase round you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker, so one single crochet into three stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. So now you should have 30 total uh, stitches at this point after that increase round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off, and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now we're ready for an increase round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up, and for this increase round you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker, one single crochet into four stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you should have 36 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up for our last increase round. So for the last increase round you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. And You're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker, one single crochet into five stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you should have 42 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off, and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for six rounds. So six rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. Now after you finish your six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you can go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. Just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help sew the ear in place. And you're going to need two of these, so go ahead and make two of these. So now after you finish both ears, we're going to make the inner white portion, so go ahead and set these aside. Now for the white portion for the inner ear, we're going to start with the chain. 
So take your white colored yarn and you're going to fold it over on itself to form a loop. Then take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop. For your slip knot, go ahead and cinch that knot down. And then you're going to make a chain of 20. I'm just going to show four of them on video tutorial. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for one, two, three, four. So go ahead, finish a chain of 20 and then come back. So I finished my chain of 20 and my chain of 20 measures approximately four inches. Then you're going to take and make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So count back one, two, bring up a loop, and make a single crochet. And then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across. So one single crochet into every stitch back across and then come back. So now you should have 19 total stitches after finishing that row. Then you're just going to turn your work and then in the next stitch over you're going to make a single crochet and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across. And when you finish this row you should have a stitch count of 18. So now you should have a total stitch count of 18. Then you're just going to turn your work again and then make a single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet in every stitch back across and when you finish this row you should have a stitch count of 17. So now you should see that each row is decreasing by one stitch which is what you want. So now you're just going to turn your work and then make a single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet in every stitch across and when you finish this row you should have a stitch count of 16. So now you see that each time you turn your work you're going to decrease the row by one stitch so you're going to go ahead and turn your work again so keep turning your work and making a single crochet in every stitch back across and each row should decrease by one stitch and when you get down to only four stitches come back and I'll work that last row with you. So now you can see that my work is forming a triangle if you did it correctly by just turning your work and then making a single crochet in every stitch across you decrease each row by one stitch. So now I have five stitches so I'm going to go ahead and turn my work and make a single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet in every stitch except for the last stitch. In the last stitch I'm going to slip stitch. So I'm going to go into that last stitch, yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then I'm going to finish off just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to bury actually bring enough to sew the white portion onto the ear. So you're going to need two of these. Go ahead and make two of them. So now you're going to take both the inner and the outer portion of the ear and you're going to lay the inner portion right on top of the outer portion and then take your tapestry needle and take the small loose yarn end first and bring that into the wrong side of the ear. Make sure that you only go to on the top layer, not the back layer. You don't want your sewing stitches to show through on the back. Then take the long end that you left for sewing, put it onto your tapestry needle, and then line up the inner portion. I lined mine up so it's one round up from the outer. Then just take and go through the first portion only, meaning that this portion, not the back portion only the front part of the outer ear because you don't want to sew it to the back. Make sure you're not sewing it to the back and then just go back a stitch and come out just like this sewing the inner ear to the front part of the outer ear. So now the ears are ready to sew onto the head. So before we sew them onto the head the back portion that where you left a long end for sewing will be sewing the back portion only. So just leave that in the back portion of the ear. And then you're going to need some more yarn on the tapestry needle, the same color as the main part of the ear, to sew the front portion in place. 
So the first thing that we're going to do is find which ear that you're going to sew on first. Then you're going to fold it in. So if you're sewing the right ear on first, then you want the inner portion to be folded. So if you're sewing on the other, the left ear, then you want the other side folded. So the inner portion is what is folded on the, whatever ear that you're sewing in place first. So I'm going to sew the right ear on first and the first thing I'm going to do is fold the inner portion and then I want to sew that inner portion to the front part of the ear so don't sew it to the back otherwise it's going to stick and you're going to have a hard time sewing the back portion. So leave the back portion free and then take your tapestry needle and then come in from the wrong side towards the right side and leave a little loose yarn in for tying a knot and then just sew that fold in place. So now you're going to place the ear on top of the head and you want to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about seven rounds back. And then you're just going to go in and you're going to sew the front of the ear only. So you're going to come out with your tapestry needle and you're sewing the front of the ear only. Don't sew the back of the outer ear. And then you want to fold the outer portion of the ear inward so you're about one, two, three, four, five stitches from the safety doll eye. And then you just take and go in and out with your tapestry needle and you're just sewing the ear in place, the front of the ear in place. And then after you sew the front of the ear, you can sew the back of the ear down. So you just go in and out, just sewing the ear in place. Then you can take and pull out the back portion of the ear and then take and just sew down the back portion of the ear. And then you're going to repeat the same thing for the other ear. Make sure that they are symmetrical. So they should line up so that they're even. Don't put one too far forward or too far back. They should look exactly the same on both sides. And then I tie a knot on the back of the ear. So on the back of the ear, I just take and tie a knot when I'm finished. I usually like to go twice. Then taking right where you tied your knot, go right up into the ear, the back portion only, so don't go into the front and ruin the white portion there. You only want to go towards in the back, towards the center of the ear. Then just trim your loose yarn end and then you're ready to sew the other ear on the exact same way. And this is what mine looks like after getting them sewn on place. You can see the distance here. Same as the other side. And they're even on top. So one's not up here and then one's back here. You want to make sure that the ears are even. This is what it looks like in the front. And then this is what it looks like in the back. You can see how I lined up the ears with the inner portion of the safety doll eye. Now you can set the head aside while we make the body. Now we're going to make the body. So go ahead and get your tan colored yarn or the main color that you want for the body. And we're going to start with the magic circle. Just drape the yarn across your four fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're going to bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then just hold the base of the six single crochet with your forefinger and thumb. You have these two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and close one. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. Then take the loose yarn in and pull on that. Then you're going to turn your work so that you're working in rounds. Now you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around. 
until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around and when you have 12 stitches in the round stop and then come back. So now I have 12 stitches in the round. If you need to close the center of the magic circle just take and turn the work over and then just pull on the loose yarn end on the back and then that will close up the center for you. Now we're going to make increase rounds which means we're going to be increasing the number of stitches in the round and for those that know how we're going to be increasing in chronological order all the way up to one single crochet into 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn marker place it right where you left off and for the first increase round you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into one stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. So now you should have a total of 18 total stitches in the round. Now I'm not going to give you the stitch count for each round because all you have to do is add six to the previous round and that will be your stitch count because we started the center with a six single crochet magic circle. So our last round had 12 stitches, add six to that and then you get 18. So just add six to your previous round to get your current stitch count. So then after you finish that first increase round, go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and the next increase round is going to be one single crochet into two stitches because we're going in chronological order and again we're going all the way up to one single crochet into 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So I made one single crochet into two stitches now I'm going to make two single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. For the next increase round make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should know what you're doing. You're going to make the next one is going to be one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. So go ahead, finish making in chronological order your increase rounds all the way up to one single crochet into 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then come back. So now you should have a total of 96 stitches in the round and the diameter across is 7 inches. Then you're going to take and move the yarn marker up. And then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for 10 rounds. So 10 rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch. After you finish one single crochet into every stitch for, four, for 10 rounds, then we're at ready for a decrease round, which means we're going to be decreasing the number of stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then make one single crochet into 14 stitches. Then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So you take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a single crochet, two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern, one single crochet into 14 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 90 total stitches in the round after completing that decrease round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now after you finish your one single crochet in every stitch for three rounds we're ready for our next decrease round. We're going to decrease the number of stitches in the round. You're going to move your yarn marker up and then you're going to make one single crochet into 13 stitches. 
After you make one single crochet into 13 stitches, then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker, one single crochet into 13 stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now, after you finish that decrease round, you should have 84 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. Now after you finish your one single crochet in every stitch for three rounds, you're ready for your next decrease round. Go ahead and make one single crochet into 12 stitches and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into 12 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 78 total stitches in the round after that decrease round. Then go ahead and move your yarn marker up, place it right where you left off and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now after you finish the three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you're ready for the decrease round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're going to make one single crochet into 11 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you're ready to move the yarn marker up. You have 72 stitches in the round now. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then just make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish your three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and move your yarn marker up for your next decrease round. For the next decrease round, make one single crochet into 10 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 66 stitches in the round. Then you're going to move your yarn marker up and now you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for six rounds. So six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you're ready for your next decrease round. For the next decrease round, you're going to move your yarn marker up, then make one single crochet in every stitch, that, uh, I'm sorry, one single crochet in each of the ni next nine stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern. One single crochet into nine stitches, single crochet two stitches together, keep repeating all the way back to the yarn marker and then come back. So now you should have 60 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish one uh, single crochet in every stitch for three rounds, you're ready for your ne next decrease round. Make one single crochet into eight stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern all the way around back to your yarn marker. So now you should have 54 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up right where you left off and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you can see how it's getting smaller and smaller gradually, the opening. Then we're going to make another decrease round. For the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 48 stitches in the round. Then go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet 
in every stitch around. Now after our one single crochet in every stitch for two rounds, we're going to make our last decrease round. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 42 stitches in the round. This is my opening, small opening. Then go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then for the last two rounds you're going to just make one single crochet in every stitch around. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around and these are our last two rounds. Now after you finish the last two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch over Then you're going to finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help sew the head onto the body. Now you can take and add craft stuffing into the body, being careful not to overstuff where you can start seeing gaps in the crochet holes. So you shouldn't be able to see gaps. Just make sure you don't overstuff and you also want to make sure you don't understuff the body as well. Then you can take and place the head on and I usually start sewing where I left off, finished off on the body and try to line up the back of the head with the back of the body. It might overhang just slightly, very slightly. You want the head to look straight ahead. The first round of sewing is mainly to hold the head in place and then you're going to make several rounds of sewing to secure the head to the body. So what I did was if I came out on the body with the yarn, I went into the body and then up into the head and then back out again with my tapestry needle. And then I just sewed like that all the way around several times until the head is secure on the body. And this is what mine looks like after I'm finished sewing it in place. 